the next time it could be your relative, your kid, you know. It could happen to you. That's the message from Johnstown Police. A day after a man was gunned down outside the Oakhurst homes, police say by all accounts, the victim was a model citizen about to graduate from the police academy when his life was cut short. So far, there's no motive, no suspects, nowhere for the investigation to really even begin. Neighbors telling us they are fed up with the violence and they question if the Johnstown Housing Authority is doing enough to stop crime. And Maria Miller took those concerns to leaders and has more on that tonight. Maria. Well, Marta, the Housing Authority told us straight up today it can only house people. It can't control them. While they have cameras installed on several buildings and continue to work with police, both agencies tell us they can only do so much. And tonight, they're asking for help. It's a tragedy what happened out there, and it's just unfortunate. And I think it all goes back to the earlier views on the um, spike in the heroin trafficking, things like that. And for the most part, Cambria County leaders will agree until it comes to this weekend. Police don't believe Tyrone Williams was doing anything wrong when he was shot and killed Sunday morning. There's nothing to indicate that he was involved in anything other than being in a public place at a certain time. That public place being the Oakhurst homes. Of the four homicides in the city this year, Three of them have happened in or around Oakhurst. We can be there 23 hours a day, and at one hour a day that we're not there, something could happen. Well, we don't control the lives of the individuals. I mean, we, our job is to house the individuals. Dan Cunyu, executive director of the Johnstown Housing Authority, says it screens all applicants and does what it can to work with police and has several security cameras keeping a watchful eye. But with 400 units and nearly 50 buildings, he says it's just not possible to have them everywhere. It's just a, a very um, vast amount of um, territory, so to speak. It's not yet clear if Sunday's fatal shooting was captured on surveillance, but police tell us they know someone saw it and believe even more people probably know what happened. The neighbors are definitely fed up with it, and you can't blame them. It, but you can sit back and you can complain and moan, or you can take action and do something, and that's what we're asking people to do. Now, the Housing Authority says it has a one-strike program and continues to evict residents and guests involved in criminal activity. And believe it or not, according to police reports and data gathered by the Housing Authority, arrests in Oakhurst are down this year nearly 50% from this time last year. But again, tonight, the focus is on this weekend shooting. Anyone with information, no matter how little, is asked to call police. Reporting live, Maria Miller, 6 News.